What's going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an awesome day today. What is going on? The markets are bleeding today. You know what guys? That's it. Time to take your money out. It's official. Crypto is a scam. Would you look at all of this red across the markets? Well, there's actually something going on today that may not specifically have to do with just Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, but nevertheless, we are seeing things like Bitcoin and cryptos getting hit, right? Having a look right here, you can see we were kind of hanging around the $11,000 level. Now, I did show you guys on the chart the other day how we were basically at this very critical recent support. We couldn't break that support. It now acts as resistance, and we have come back down to some of the previous levels. Now, we did speak about even if Bitcoin was to come down here, it still is technically bullish, but there is one thing right now globally that's affecting all markets. You probably have already guessed what it is, but if not, we'll get into it. Now, I do want to talk about one thing specifically also that uh, Bitcoin pretty much hasn't done for three years. And if it was to do it this month, it would actually be a first that we have seen Bitcoin do. And also the fact that September historically is not really a great month for Bitcoin. So lots of things we're going to go over today. We're going to talk about all that. Keep today's video super quick because let's be honest, it's Monday and... Uh, yeah, this isn't really the prettiest of charts to have a look at right now, but we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. Should we be getting bearish? Well, I mean, the obvious answer, you know, is no, but short term, there could be some turbulence. So if that sounds good to you also today, we're going to give away the Ledger Nano S at the end of the video. Today's video is going to be a little bit raw, uncut, super quick. Let's dive in. Now, having a look right here, you could almost say that we were forming somewhat of a bearish you know, rising pattern, a bear flag, whatever you guys want to call it, but we fell pretty damn hard on the open on CME futures. Lots of people saying, well, we're going to fill that gap. We could still fill the gap, right? Down here, we have around $9,700 potentially. Would I be placing my bets on Bitcoin closing the gap? I wouldn't be trading the gap specifically, but I do think that Bitcoin basically was hitting this, uh, you know, key level right here. We spoke about this a while on the channel. We talked about it pretty much all last week, how this was support. We came down here and it acted as resistance. Now, keep in mind, we are still in this giant triangular formation right here, right? Now, Bitcoin could potentially... Um, you know, come down here, bounce back around, come back up to the top. And, you know, we could really be bouncing around in here all the way pretty much until the end of October this year. Now, I know everybody wants a $20,000 Bitcoin by tomorrow, but patience is key. And let's be honest, these moments to accumulate really are blessings in disguise. Now, right now, I'm sure you're probably looking at your altcoins and saying, you know, my goodness, what is going on? All of my altcoins are bleeding. I'm down 20%, 30%, 50% on some of these altcoins. Now, keep in mind, we did have an amazing rally. We had everything pumping, not even just 50%, 80%. We had 2Xs, 3Xs, 5Xs, 10Xs, okay? Crypto was absolutely booming and exploding, and we had two to three weeks of insane gains, and now we are having that sort of healthy correction. Now, if we just take a step back and have a look at the overall trajectory of Bitcoin, we are still bouncing beautifully right here on this trend line, this legacy trend line. Look, and if we were to even come down here, you know, to about the $9,800 level, we would still be really just bullish. I mean, putting in higher lows. Now, the reason I'm not counting this area is because that was really the COVID scare, you know, lots of things everything, all the markets were dumping basically. So it's kind of a little bit of a black swan event anomaly to really factor that in. But like Cole Gardner point out, he said, remember 25% to 35% retraces are the norm in Bitcoin bull markets. That's right, guys, bull markets. But you're probably thinking, where's the bull market right now? Guys, keep in mind, Bitcoin was trading at $7,000 in January of this year. So considering, you know, looking at a lot of the other markets, a lot of the other things you could have been invested in, had you bought Bitcoin on January 1st versus, you know, some of these other 
uh, it's traditional stocks or you know whatever, Bitcoin would still be performing quite well, right? Now, September has historically been an unpleasant month for Bitcoin's price. In the last three years alone, Bitcoin lost about 12% on average this month. And one thing that I want to mention is that Bitcoin has not seen three positive consecutive quarters since 2017. So if Bitcoin does end Q4 with a net gain, it would be three consecutive winning quarters for the first time in three years. But is this why the Bitcoin price is dumping? Well, if we have a look over here, we have gold falling massively. Gold actually got down to about 1,882, got bought back up a little bit. But S&P, we have massive dumps still trying to push down. So we have gold dumping. We have traditional stocks dumping. What is happening? Well, if any of you have been watching the news, you already know the answer to that. But there has been a decline in European stocks and U.S. stock futures and a rise in the U.S. dollar that could be looking to weigh in on why Bitcoin is falling. What is causing this? Well, investors are selling equities on fears that the recent resurgence of the pandemic, the virus, which shall not be named, well, it's basically having a lot, a lot more cases in Europe, right? And they're saying that this could unleash new economic damage. Imagine if they decide to once again, you know, close different European countries. We've already seen the damage that it's been able to do to the pretty much, uh, pretty much to the global ecosystem of just finance. I mean, I'm not going to get into this right now. You know, we could talk all day politically about whether or not the virus is really as bad as people say it is, whether or not we needed to have the shutdowns. I'm not going to get into all that today, but nevertheless, we have seen some damage done. Now, some conspiracy theorists would say this was all just part of the elite to gain more control, right? Over here in the US, we have places like Walmart and, um, you know, all these top, you know, Amazon doing amazing while mom and pop shops are literally going out of business, right? So you have futures tied to Wall Street's S&P are, are down over 2%, more than that actually today, while we've actually seen the dollar up half a percent. The dollar actually going up, my goodness, what is the special? occasion. Well, the epidemic is doubling roughly every seven days in the UK. And if the trend continues, there would be about 50,000 new cases per day by the middle of October. According to British government's chief scientist advisor, the UK may be forced to bring in new lockdowns. Other European countries from Denmark to Greece have already imposed restrictions. So are we seeing the second wave that everybody had feared? Well, if you ask my dad, he thinks that this is all just one big scam to dump the market gets right before the election so good old Trump could get elected again. Once again, I'm not going to get into that conspiracy theory, but there's lots of theories about what's going on. What is actually happening? What we can look at right now is there are fears of the virus resurging. Markets are just having an effect. Why? Because that's what markets do. Markets are irrational. Things happen that make no sense in the markets. That's why it's definitely a crazy place to be in crypto during this time. So Bitcoin could potentially suffer a bigger drop if the risk adversion, uh, adversion, adversion, wow, worsens, it's Monday. Give me a break, guys. Triggering a dash for the U.S. dollar and a global reserve currency that, you know, is happening. Well, basically, people are rushing to the dollar in a nutshell. OK, this is what we saw happen before. It doesn't matter. People go, oh, you know, Bitcoin's a safe haven asset. Gold is a safe haven asset. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if there's a chance of people, you know, losing their job, unemployment going up restrictions, we're having the, uh, you know, quarantine again, then people are just going to sell. They're going to sell whatever they have. They're going to sell their Bitcoin. They're going to sell their stocks. They're going to sell their gold. They're going to sell things on eBay. They're going to sell whatever they can so they can rush back into the dollar, right? Additionally, a rise in the flow of coins. This is actually Bitcoin related from miners to exchanges could also add to the bearish sentiment. If Bitcoin prices start to fall, the miners are going to need to cover their costs to mine Bitcoin, and they could also add to the selling pressure of the Bitcoin price as a whole. And that's why we could potentially see the price of Bitcoin going lower. So moving forward, having a look at the chart right here, do we need to be bearish? Well, no. I mean, as long as we can maintain some nice daily closes above the $10,100 level, I wouldn't immediately be bearish. We are back in that, you know, 
previous resistance flip support level. And the other thing is that we may close the CME futures gap. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I, for a while, had said we would close the gaps. Then we didn't. But really, it's still only the first one on the daily we haven't. So history says we will. But I guess we'll know by the end of the year. But let me know what you guys think. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? This guy over here, you know, I'm a Bitcoin bull. I take these opportunities to buy the dips. And also, if you're out there and you're looking at some altcoins, I've seen some altcoins down between 50 and 80%. Could be good opportunities to scoop up some coins, especially if you think you missed out. Not financial advice, though. Nobody wants to buy the red. But realistically, that's when you're supposed to buy because the markets are the opposite, right? Red means go, green means stop or sell, right? But very hard to get into that mindset. And with all of that being said, it is time to give away the Ledger Nano S because we do do that every Monday. Drop a comment below. So we did have six videos. Generate, that is video number five. So that was, wow, Bitcoin, huge USA news. This could spark the bull run. Well, Looks like the bull run's getting put on hold, guys, because the virus is back with a vengeance. So heading over here to our uh, random comment giveaway picker, let's put this in over here and give away a Ledger Nano S. All right, let's see how many comments we had on that video. Internet is going a little bit slow today, although I've been actually hearing that the internet's going very slow pretty much everywhere. I don't know, is there something going on with just the global worldwide internet? So. We have Uni will make it. Well, Uni actually did quite well. Uh, did have a bit of a pullback. That happens in markets. Uh, yeah, but that's why I said, you know, you could sell half, keep half, right? So if it goes up, great. If not, awesome. You also made a profit. But you are the winner, Sasha. So you know what to do. You have 24 hours to hit me up in my official about section. You can also hit me up in my telegram as well. But that is it for me today. Hope you're having a great Monday. Don't let the markets get you down. Could we go lower? Absolutely, but this is just how the markets go. Once everything blows over, it'll be fine. I am a little bit worried about what's going on in the world right now. I mean, that could have some kind of unexpected effects on Bitcoin. I mean, we did see, you know, what it did to the markets. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here, you know, that was very unexpected. That was sort of the global black swan event. So could that happen again? Absolutely. But that is it for me today. Thanks again for coming back to the channel. You guys rock. It can't always be sunshine and rainbows every single day. But one of these days, when, when that day will be, I'm not too sure. But we will be looking back on all of this and laughing with our $50,000 Bitcoin bags all the way to the bank. But that day is not here yet. Until then... Be patient, stack sats. Thanks for coming back. My name's K Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, stay crypto. And of course, peace out.